Hello, this is Tasha coming to you straight from the Edu Kitchen at the Mix Edu Kitchen and Fitness here in West Midtown in Atlanta. What is an Edu Kitchen? This is Georgia's only Edu Kitchen. The Edu Kitchen is a learning kitchen. Here we show people how to cook healthy meals that also taste good, and we show people how to do things for natural living so that you can go green for the environment and for your wallet. So today is Make It Yourself Monday, and today we're gonna make hand sanitizer. Why hand sanitizer, you say? Because there's a lot of nasty stuff in hand sanitizer, okay? So I recycled my old hand sanitizer from back in the day, and I wanted to try and figure out what is in hand sanitizer. So I have a chemistry background, okay? Here are the ingredients. Benzophenone 4, carbomer, DNC orange number 4, fragrance, glycerin, isopropyl alcohol, isopropyl myostrate, propylene glycol, tocopherol, acetate, and water. I have no idea what that means or what they do, but apparently they make hand sanitizer when you put them together. We're going to go about this the natural way. So I do know how to pronounce all of these. We have alcohol-free witch hazel, coconut oil, we have aloe vera gel, lavender, a germ fighter, also known as kind of like a thieves oil, and that's it. That's all we have. So what is this thieves thing? The thieves oil, the story goes that like a long time ago during the plague, there were these robbers and they were stealing from everyone's homes of folks that were dying. So is it really stealing if they were dying or if they were dead? Doesn't matter, they were thieves. So when they finally, when the law finally caught up to them, basically in exchange for them to not go to jail, they said, you could tell us how you're surviving when everybody is dying. And they told them about this blend that they soaked their handkerchiefs in and wore it across their face. So here's what was in that blend. Cloves, rosemary oil, eucalyptus oil, or maybe just rosemary and eucalyptus, cinnamon and lemon. So when they blended all that together, they didn't get sick. So even though the thieves name is something that's proprietary to, I think it may be Young Living. Also doTERRA has some, um, has a variety of it. And this is from Plant Therapy. They're all the same blend of oils and they work really well. I've been using the Germ Fighter since probably about two years ago and it's I don't get sick. I have allergies, but I do not get sick. And I make it, and I use it in every cleaning product that I make as well. So, bada bing, bada boom, it is actually 99%, 90, oh, sorry, 99.96% effective against airborne bacteria, as proven in a Weber State University study. If you don't have that oil, no fret, my pet, you can use tea tree oil and it gives you the same percentage, actually at least 99% effective against airborne bacteria too. So let's mix up some hand sanitizer. It's gonna be so quick and so easy. You're gonna be like, how did I not do this earlier? So first we have three tablespoons of aloe gel, okay? Three tablespoons. This is going to help it with some of the thickness that you're used to in a typical hand sanitizer. Dose. Ooh, dress. Then we're going to take two tablespoons of witch hazel, alcohol free witch hazel, which means that it's not going to dry out your hands because there's nothing worse than ashy hands just because, you know you're using a hand sanitizer. So two tablespoons of the alcohol-free witch hazel. We're also gonna take a half teaspoon of the coconut oil. And this part you can use more or less if you'd like. The half teaspoon to me is where it's good and moisturizing because we're using this as a moisturizer, but it's not like overbearing. So half teaspoon. If you don't have uh, the coconut oil, which this is fractionated coconut oil, you're probably wondering why it's liquid and in a container like this versus a tub, fractionated coconut oil, the way that it's done is that it stays liquid regardless of the temperature. So if you don't have this, you can easily use like a grapeseed oil, which is really good for your skin, or an olive oil. Doesn't really matter. Use what you have. All right, so now all we have left to do, add in our oils. So we're going to start off with 16 drops of the drum fighter. Mm, 
Eh, there we go. 16 drops there. Come back here. And then you're going to have eight drops of lavender. Lavender is another quite effective antifungal, antifungal, antibacterial um, essential oil. And you just shake it up. You can put it in the fridge if you want, and it'll get a little thicker, kind of what you're used to. And that's, that's really it, okay? So you can make more, of course, as you see, this didn't fill up the whole thing, depending on the size bottle that you have. I just recycled a bottle that I previously had, and you see, just a couple drops in there. Rub it in, oh, it feels so good. And I'm getting clean without all the ickiness that I can't pronounce, all right? So you saw how quick and easy that was. The recipe is gonna be below, and you have now learned how to make hand sanitizer. This is Tasha from the Mix Education and Fitness here in Atlanta. You can find me on Facebook at Mix Kitchen Fitness, and you can find me on Instagram, believe it or not, as Fit Gator Girl with a G8. Our girl. All right. So thank you so much. And I'll see you next week for another Make It Yourself Monday.